Thursday. I'm really sad. It's our last Thirsty Thursday. Um, I had a blast with this. I mean, I love cooking, but this is a nice little twist, uh, especially because when we do cater parties, we always come up with like a different cocktail. Our guests love it, especially with the holiday season. Um, I think I really saved the best for last, though. I think you're gonna love these too. Um, they kind of roll into later the season now that it's the end of September, going into October. You can even use this stuff for Thanksgiving as well. we want to kind of put it out there earlier than later. Um, but let us know what you want to see for next month. Um, be happy to do another day that we think. I personally want to put out Taco Tuesday because I love tacos. But whatever you guys want to see, if you want to see something seasonal, something new with October. But I was really glad that we did Apple Month. Um, an Apple Month paired with our Thirsty Thursday cocktails. So let's check out what we're going to do. So we're going to do a dessert and we're going to do a cocktail. So two different versions, because when you go to a restaurant, you go to someone's house, you need something. A lot of times it starts with Prosecco, something simple, light. That's gonna be our first one. And our second one is screaming dessert. It's creamy and sweet, and I can't even spoil it up. I can't spoil it for you, I gotta, you gotta check it out. All right, first one. I know rosé all day in the summer, but we're gonna make a rosé cocktail. So we have rosé, citrus vodka, some pomegranate seeds, a little bubbly, fresh apple slices, that's agave, and that's sugar, and we're gonna rim it. So let's start. We're gonna try this at a different angle. Um, so I'm gonna take my shaker. I'm only using two ice cubes because the rosé was actually cold in the fridge, and I don't want it to water down. So it's two ounces of rosé. Um, personally, I like dry rosé, and this is just something I had at home. It's called Whispering Angel. Love it. Um, I normally don't make cocktails with that because it's just drinkable by itself, but I had a bottle open. If the bottle wasn't open, I probably would have used a different kind of rosé. Citrus vodka. And we're gonna shake it. It's gonna nice and cold. Then I'm gonna pull this back while this sits for a minute so you can see us do our glass. So in here I have agave, and in here I have just granulated sugar. We're gonna make this in a stemless glass. I feel like this is fun for when people get to your house. It's like an easy cocktail. You throw about to break in your good wine glasses. Gonna get the agave around the rim. Now it's nice and sticky, sticky. And we're gonna put the sugar next. The sugar all the way around. Get a nice, see that? Okay, let's put the gem with this other one right here. So we're gonna take our, whoa! Our cocktail. I swear I wasn't drinking before this. And we're gonna pour it in here with the ice. Champagne. Pomegranates. Fine everywhere. Fresh apple slices. Now you can pre-make this ahead of time and kind of have it like in a pitcher and then you just chop the top off with the champagne. But you have the pomegranates, the fresh apple, citrus, your rim is super sweet. Ooh, it's good. It's, it's, I'm definitely on the sweeter side. The rose is where I would pick a drier rose. But it definitely, um, how do I want to say it's like, Sprinkle by itself. Like this is a cocktail when you walk into a party. This is what you want to have. So I saved the best for last. Let's make dessert in a cup. Um, there is so much goodness going on on this tray right now. I'm gonna use the bullet. If you want to make a bigger batch, you can use the thing. So we're gonna take coffee ice cream. That's right. Coffee. Give me a spoon. Coffee ice cream. Um, I use Turkey Hill. You can use whatever brand you want. Amaretto. Vanilla vodka. Cinnamon liqueur. We're gonna blend this milkshake. On I'm using the bullet, so you just gonna put it on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This. I love milkshakes. So, 
obviously, the more ice cream you put in, the creamier it's gonna be. Um, we're gonna pour it into this mug. Now, marshmallows, I buy the jumbo. We're gonna float them on top. I get my torch. Oh, that's right. We're gonna brule marshmallows. Let me get you a better angle. Toasting some marshmallows. And they are fire. Now, around it, I just wanna toast the back. And in a cup, I put a piece of chocolate and graham cracker. Why does this keep going out on me? Brulee in that. Get off! Well, we had a malfunction. A different angle. So we have the marshmallows, we have the graham cracker, and we have the chocolate. Ooh, my fingers ran. Yeah. This, with the spoon, is dessert. Love it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm so excited. I'm going to devour this. Holy cow. I'm gonna throw that chocolate on my teeth. It's coffee, chocolate, marshmallow goodness. Winner, winner, dinner, chicken dinner.